morning, America. Let us first begin by introducing a topic that'll make your head spin. Recent studies show that if you want your kids to thrive, leave art out of the classroom and don't let them take pride in their abstract ideas or their forms of expression and their outlets for coping with their non-existent depression. Art today means nothing, not to this generation. You can't get a well-paying job by making a pretty decoration. They don't care about color or finesse or style. Unless it's what they're wearing, none of it is worthwhile. But this isn't a bad thing. Art's always been a distraction, so now schools don't have to force this unnecessary transaction like Arizona just recently cut K-12 education. $113 million is a form of rejuvenation. The colleges also weren't deprived of this opportunity. They were cut $99 million for the good of the community. Without forcing art on students, we could keep cutting spending in order to add on to the prison inmates who are depending on more than just the $5 million that was already added to their budget in Arizona's spending plan. Oh, don't you just love it? This works out so well because the students who go astray from the education system end up in prisons anyway. Not only that, but art kills brain power. It ruins your kids like an alcoholic at happy hour. One case study shows a girl who was deprived of crayons and paintbrushes all of her life. She couldn't draw a straight line, but she could solve trick equations because, of course, in the real world, that's used for ample occasions. This other young, don't let your kids touch or see instruments like this other young boy who grew up to work in a factory in Chicago, Illinois. This man now has no rhythm. He can't enjoy any song, but robots in an assembly line have no time to hum along. This other young boy was told to sit on his hands when he wanted to run about, when he wanted to dance, but he was saved from ballet, interpretive dance, and theater. He was neatly placed in a cubicle where there was no room for either. To further prove these conclusions, here's one more example. You're looking right at them because they try to trample my passions for poetry, but I wouldn't follow directions, and now I'm a queer feminist. Now I have so many objections. I'm too smart to be a woman. I don't know my place. I don't fear my femininity, my chubby body, or race, so if my presence offends you and you don't want kids like me, then let students learn in a school that keeps the classroom art free. Woo!